The past few months, we have seen a huge surge in the use of artificial intelligence for creative purposes, from writing stories to drawing and even creating characters that can hold solid conversation. And, of course, animating. Today, we will explore how you can use AI to make animation. Starting off with one of the most popular software, EB Synth. For EB Synth, you can take any video that you would like to have an animation based off of, and then you deconstruct it into frames. You can do this by inserting your video in After Effects and rendering it as a PNG sequence. It will then produce PNG images of every frame in your video. Now, in order for EB Synth to turn all of these frames into an animation, you would need to choose a frame that includes all of the objects in your scene, and then draw it in whichever style you want, whether a painterly style or a pencil drawing. This way, the software would know how to stylize everything. If you do not have a single frame that shows everything, you can simply draw two or three frames that are most representative of every object you have displayed in the scene. The more keyframes you have with the desired style, the more accurate and beautifully done the animation will be. Now, the stylized frames need to be as accurate to the base video as possible, which is why it is highly recommended to directly paint or draw over your base video. This way, the stylization will be as good as it can be an AB synth would be able to use it to animate many other frames. In the case where you have a background that you would need to animate separately, you would need to use rotoscoping to extract the character's animation from the background and have them be animated separately. If this is something you would want to do with the software, it is recommended to have a green screen video base so as to make things a whole lot easier and faster. After all of these elements are gathered, what you would need to do next is simply insert them in EB Synth and let it do its thing. You can choose to lean on the video or the stylization by increasing the weight option before rendering. Depending on which you choose, the animation will either be more realistic or stylized. As we have seen, EB Synth is not your usual AI generator. It requires a lot more work. That is only natural given how much of a complicated process animation is but it certainly can help you make wonderful 2D animation should you put in enough work. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. So we got you guys this course from Skillshare about AI animation, which is a new trend that has been popping up lately. The course is beginner friendly, and it is taught by Jonathan Parker, who is a motion graphics and visual effects lecturer. He will teach you different AI techniques using Doll E, Photoshop, and After Effects, and you will learn how to generate images as well as how to create an infinite zoom animation. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses, and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. Alright, now back to the video. Next up, we have Kyber. Even though both EB Synth and Kyber are essentially animation tools powered by artificial intelligence, Kyber works a lot differently than EB Synth. EB Synth needs a more or less of a committed approach. It is not as easy to use. You would need to manually draw over the frames and make sure you cover everything that appears in the scene in order for EB Synth to properly animate things for you. This makes EB Synth a lot more reliable though. As for Kyber, it is a a lot easier to use. Firstly, unlike EB Synth, you don't have to download the software. You can work directly on the website. How it works is that you could insert an initial image that you would like to base your animation off of. You could also add music. After that, you continue on to the prompt page and describe what you would like the animation to look like. The website already has a template for the sentences. You would just need to fill it out. It goes, I want to create a video of dot 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 in the style of Dot, dot, dot. For the first gap, you could fill it up with free text or pick a pre-established option. The same thing goes for the other gap. It has pre-established styles such as oil painting, steampunk, art nouveau, or 3D render. It also has what the website calls Kyber curated styles, the styles being lost and intergalactic. 
but you are not limited by this. You can also enter free text for the style as well. When you are done with these settings, you have more settings and options. From determining the length of the animation, camera movement, whether you would like to show the initial image you inserted or not, how much you'd like to render to evolve, which basically means how much movement there is in the animation. And lastly, whether or not the animation plays in a boomerang style. In addition to creating an animation from an image, Kyber is also working on a new feature that lets you create an animation from a video. It works the same way EBSynth works, without all the hassle. You just insert the video and set the prompt and style and let it render. This new feature is still limited as it is recommended to use a less than 10 seconds video that is all in one shot. This is because this feature is still in beta. But with how we have seen AI significantly improve over the years, we can only imagine what will become of this six months from now. GUI This AI animation generator allows you to enter a text prompt to create your animation using Stable Diffusion D Forum. The tool is currently in its infancy, but still produces somewhat of a similar result to what Kyber and EBSynth produce. Other settings you can set are the number of frames, the animation mode, whether your render is going to be in 2D or 3D, whether the video should be zooming in and out, determining the camera's horizontal as well as vertical pan, and so on and so forth. It is just as an impressive tool as the two previously mentioned ones and produces similar results. Make a video by Meta AI. This video generator by Meta is not limited to making 2D or even 3D animation. It makes all kinds of videos. From these types of videos, we have the ability to make stylized videos in the style of oil painting, for instance. You can either use a purely textual prompt to generate your video or use an image. There's also the option to use several images and have the software fill in the gaps between them, creating an animation. There's also another possibility where you can use a video and then create a variation off of it that is slightly different. While the generator is not necessarily an animation generator, it can certainly achieve that look. DID DID is the most simplistic AI generator of all the three previously mentioned generators. It mostly creates live photos or speaking portraits. Just like Meta's Make a Video, DID isn't specialized in 2D animation like Kyber or EB Synth are, but is rather more focused on realistic videos. Still, nothing can stop you from creating a 2D illustration using another AI tool such as Midjourney, for instance, and using DID's functionalities as a way to make a talking portrait out of them. So these were the main five AI animation generators presented in our video today. While what they can make is certainly incredibly impressive, the animation artificial intelligence technology is undoubtedly at its infancy, especially in comparison to its illustration counterpart. However, with how fast and great of a progress the illustration side is making, we would not be surprised to see AI animation make not jumps, but leaps of improvement and advancement very soon. And that was that for our video. We hope you liked it. What do you think? Is AI animation truly going somewhere great? Or do you think this is not impressive enough and we're hitting a wall here? Are there other AI animation tools we missed? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out our other video that dives deep into the realm of AI if this is something you're interested in. With that being said, thank you for watching our video and we hope to see you in the next one.